character, like if they had a chance to listen a little bit, what what do you expect from them when you when you go against them on Friday? Yeah, they're a good team. They're scrappy. They're going to play hard. You know, it's tournament time. Everyone's fighting for their lives. So uh, we would expect uh, a good match. And uh, you know, we they won their conference, and we've we've had a little bit of a look at them, and yeah, they can play. You feel like there's a little less pressure than maybe coming into the tournament last year when you're coming in to play some champs. You know, final four series, kind of a lot of maybe you could like be here the rest of the way. Maybe there's a little bit less pressure on this team this time around. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> I guess, but you know, what are we defining pressure as? I mean, it's a, an expectation or an external thing. I mean, it's just uh, the, the, the probably the the one thing I can say is that it was really hard to get away from it last year. You know what I mean? Like, but you go to the grocery store and someone wants to chat to you about it, which is great, right? Because they care and and they've got their tickets to the Final Four, and that's wonderful that they hope we're there too and all the rest of it. But it's just one of those things where um, you know it was it was probably more present uh, as much through. The community and the meters, anything else. But for us, you know, obviously we tried to play it match to match and point to point, and um, it was what it was. Um, but this year is different for, I think, a, a variety of different reasons, but mainly because uh, of the, the team and the stuff that they've gone through already to get to where we are. Um, you know, having gone through so many real tests of, uh, of uh, our ability to compensate and adjust and show some resilience in big moments and do all that stuff. I mean, that, that stuff's probably the. The major differentiating differentiating factor, not not really the final four being here or in Pittsburgh or in wherever it could be. Yeah. Discover you a tougher team because what you've gone through injury wise and everything else, all this thing together this year. You find at the end of the year you go, okay, bring it on because we've seen this better than you see. Yeah, for sure. I mean, you know, like you said, like our team has gone through a lot. You know, just people in and out, and um, I think it really took like all of us, and like we're all just really in it, just ready to go and battle. Stephanie, how was the team able to adapt to all this uncertainty? What is it about the group that, that allowed you guys to figure it out? Um, I would say it's probably like our connections that we have, you know, just trusting that we're all in it together and that we're all, you know, trying to get better and work together for each other and, you know, just kind of have the team first mentality. Yeah, I mean, I think the, the the word that comes to mind is authentic. You know, I mean, they are what they are, and and that's great. You know, I mean, they're good good people, good students, good volleyball players, and uh, and they're doing it all for the right reasons, as Stephanie's saying here. You know, they're they're playing for each other. There's there's uh, some real connections there, and uh, I think when you get to this uh, this phase of the season, that matters a lot. I'm sorry, could you? What does playing in the Big Ten do for you in terms of confidence when you get to the NCAA tournament because you play such good competition? Right. Um, yeah, I think it definitely prepares us because every night, you know, it's always a challenge, you know, whoever we face. So I think, you know, playing in different places like, you know, Penn State where it's super loud or, you know, um, here and then it's a tough opponent, I think it just prepares us for whatever's to come in the tournament. Um, I think it, you know, like in the moment, you know, we enjoy it, you know, we find out where we're at and who we're playing and all that stuff. And then, you know, reality hits like you have to go to work and put in the work in order to achieve what we want. So I think it's kind of like a quick little turnaround. Yeah. Coach, you've all addressed one thing the last three matches. What's kind of clicking for everybody as a unit right now? Uh, I just think we've had some good offensive production. I think that's um, that's really been a, a, a good differentiating factor. And, uh, our defense has been solid all year, but it feels like the offense has been catching up. What does playing here mean? I think it's a lot. You know, I mean, the Pavs has been a great place for us to play. Our fans are awesome. You know, they come out in droves, and uh, we sell out every night, which is still, you know, slightly surreal for everybody. But it's a wonderful privilege to get to play here, and um, great to feel the support, feel the love. It's wonderful. Yeah, I mean, maybe, but but we'll let that be their stuff. We're not going to worry too much about it. You know, we got our stuff to worry about. You're returning a lot of the same starters as last year, only lost um, Samantha, but 
feel like with getting Madonna and getting CC, it's like tournament experience last year and kind of just more experience on the team in general is going to help this year, this time around? You'd hope so. I mean, I think there were probably some valuable lessons to learn uh, from last year's campaign and even from, you know, 17 and 16 for our seniors. You know, uh, uh, I think, yeah, there's, uh, there's probably stuff that they'll be uh, hoping to apply this time around. Um, I don't know. I don't know if it changes too much. You know, I think it's kind of just like, let's just keep doing our jobs. You know, it's gotten us this far and we've had a successful Big Ten season. So I think it's kind of just about, you know, making sure we're making changes in practice and doing what we need to do. Do you anticipate that Kylie Miller will be able to play from this point forward? That's certainly our, our hope. Yeah, she seems to be doing fine and uh, had a good weekend. And yeah, there's been no indication otherwise. Uh, well, a little more consistency because we're playing with the same setter all the way around. You know, I thought Bailey and Tamara did a phenomenal job, and, and certainly Bailey because she was hanging on, you know, running that 5-1 for a while when we were in that kind of blended spot blocking thing that we were throwing out there. And, and then Tamara coming in and setting the other half of the 6-2 with Idy, who, you know, was, was a, a wonderful addition to the offense. That being said, I, you know, just, um, you know, people coming in, people coming out, it's a lot of turnover, and I think – you know, one of the, the strengths of being able to have a more stable lineup is just the consistency. So not only, I think, does Kai probably set the rhythm of the ball a little bit better, uh, just because the hitters and the setters, um, you know, had a little more time, uh, certainly spring and, and preseason to get on the same page. But just, uh, you know, as we go all the way around, now all of a sudden we can run some back row attack, we can run a little more slide, we can do some things that, you know, are, are strengths of ours. Uh, that we weren't able to do in, in this other system. So I think, you know, the, that stuff all matters, yeah. Jeff, when, when Kylie came in, how long did it take for her to kind of establish the, uh, the rhythm and the familiarity with the different areas of the row? Um, how, does, how does a hitter go about helping a setter with that kind of rhythm? Yeah, um, I think it was just kind of a mixture of, um, you know, just us making sure that we're staying consistent on what we need to do, you know, like being on our – right steps and the timing and stuff like that. And I think just letting her work her way back into it and get a groove, yeah. Do you feel like because so many different people have played different roles this year, Amy, you, if you have an injury or whatever happens, uh, there has to be some comfort knowing you're in the tournament and, and you're not going to have to put somebody in that hasn't been there before. So yeah, we've, we've got something to go to for sure. You know, it, uh, we're able to put people into, you know, um, play a specific role in a specific moment uh, or if someone needs a break and uh, we need to put someone in to, you know, get us out of a bad situation or whatever, we can do that too, you know what I mean? It's it's nice to have that kind of depth developed and, uh, you know, the, the the thing that's, I think, difficult or challenging about, uh, you know, the conference and then getting into the tournament, the conference is in and of itself a battle because you're, you know, there's there's pressure to win relative to conference standing and tournament qualification, sure. But then, you know, you're trying to get a good seed and maybe you're trying to get a top four seed because that, you know, so that just th there's so few um, opportunities where you where you just are going to like, hey, we're going to throw something out different right now. Uh, when it's not broken, we're not probably not going to fix it. But but this year, you know. Uh, for better or worse, we, we were broken, <laughs> you know, we did have issues and we were forced to uh, explore different lineups and do different things. And, and um, so the opportunity and all of that adversity that we discussed even while we were going through it was this idea of developing depth, of developing range, of, of developing the ability to, uh, you know, make, make plays in, in different ways. You know, it expanded our understanding of what's possible, not just for the individuals, but I think for the team as a whole. No, it's definitely fun, and you know, it's always fun to have another opportunity to compete and play different opponents. Yeah, it's fun for sure. See, when you guys were running the six-two, it's a fairly significant role change for Stephanie, not being in that row all mm -hmm. the time, rotating out. How did she respond to that, and, and what were the things that, that changed the most for her when, when that role shifted? She was, as you would expect, absolutely uh, in line with whatever we needed her to do you know, whatever's best for the team. And, um, you know, we knew that there was some 
uh, I'm going to use the word sacrifice, but it's not really a sacrifice. But, you know, there was some things that she was going to give up in terms of, you know, her ability to go all the way around and do all that stuff, right? Um, but she was on board, and, uh, and you can ask her the same. I'm, I'm not making it up, right? But uh, she, she uh, ended up, you know, getting a lot of more, a lot more kind of, out of system stuff that she had to deal with and and the rhythm of it was a little bit different and you know maybe you can speak to her more about that but i thought just her ability to manage it even though i think it was quite a significant growth moment for her because it was hard for her i think right am i yeah yeah it wasn't it wasn't all rainbows and ponies out there but she was still you know able to grind through and and um uh, personally i think you know as she goes through her career she'll be better off having gone through it even though it wasn't particularly enjoyable was there any hesitation for you, I mean, obviously that was the system you needed to run at the time, but knowing that your top hitter and one of your best all-around players wouldn't be on the floor all the time. Uh, yeah, I didn't think twice. I mean, we, we talked about it, but that was more out of uh, mutual respect. The, the, the idea was, hey, this is what we got to do, and, and I think we trust each other enough that it was, you know, whatever's best for the team, and that, that's what we all sign up for. Is it important to the rest of the team to have a, a player of steps Stature, say, yeah, I'm, I'm in, whatever you Well, I think it's, it's a really important precedent because, you know, if your best players are fine accepting whatever their role is today, then certainly everybody can get on board with that. Um, yeah, what was going through my mind was like, I know that. Like this is something that we need to do for the team, and like it's at the end of the day, it's always about the team. And um, you know, like Hugh said, there was a lot of opportunities for me to learn and um, you know be more disciplined in my game and try to improve whichever way I could. So yeah, it was pretty spot on. <laughs> I don't know. I think it was just kind of, um, I don't think it was hard because I would see my teammates doing so well on the court kind of thing. So if I'm on the sideline, you know, like I'm cheering for my teammates and, you know, we're scoring these points and we're doing amazing things. So it's not, not anything uh, too crazy. Yeah. Thanks, everyone.